Hello YouTube, I'm Gaurav Sahani and welcome to my channel. This video is for all the book lovers. Loving lazy days because it means getting to read. One hour turns into two and before you know that, the day has turned into nights and nights into day. Well, for all the book lovers on my channel, I've decided to create a video analyzing the data regarding books and performing some simple to intermediate EDA, that is exploratory data analysis. Isn't it amazing? So why are you waiting for? Let's dive into the content. Coming towards the data set, we'll be dealing with the Amazon top 15 best-selling books from 2009 to 2019. So the data contains around 550 books and data has been categorized into fictional and non-fictional using Goodreads. So Goodreads is basically a US best service in which they have a database of lakhs of books, annotation quotes and reviews. So talking about the data, we have name, the name of the book, author of the book, user rating, reviews, the number of written reviews on Amazon, price of the book and also we have the year in which it was ranked as bestseller and finally the genre whether it's fictional or non-fictional book. So this is all about the data we have. Now let's dive into the EDA that is exploratory data analysis and perform visuals right from beginner level to some intermediate visualization. So let's start our video by importing some common libraries such as importing NumPy and Pandas. Pandas specifically for loading our data set. We'll also import scatter matrix from pandas.plotting and some common visualization libraries such as matplotlib and seaborn. Let's execute this. Now here we'll be importing plotly.express as px, plotly graph objects as geo, plotly offline as pyo and also will import make subplots from plotly subplots. Plotly is a great library which, which provides us with great tools for interactive visualizations. Now here we'll be also importing some special visualization tools such as importing word cloud from word cloud and importing network x as an x. So let's import our data using pandas pd.readcsv and the file path in which we have saved our data and we'll execute df.head to display. We can see our data has been displayed. We, has, we have name of the book, author of the book, user rating, reviews, price, year and genre, whether it's non-fictional or fictional. So I got messages of few people that how to import data set from drive so firstly you need to save your data on drive so whichever folder you choose so save the data in that particular folder now click here and link your drive by clicking this option so this will give option to grant permission to link this drive with your Google Colab now once your drive is linked you can select your data wherever you have saved. So for example, I have saved my data in data set and copy the file path and just paste it over here so that you can read the data from your drive. Now, Once we have done reading our data, so any data you deal with, it's important to see whether there are null values present in our data. For that particular purpose, we'll be executing df.isnull.sum so we can see our data doesn't have any null values. We'll also execute df.info to have a brief information about our data. So we can see except name, author and genre, all other features are of int and float values and name, author and genre are object data types. And also we doesn't have any null values present in our data. Now let's look at the shape we'll execute df.shape and we can see we have 550 rows and seven columns with us now what we'll do is we'll sort our data based on the reviews column and so the specific book having maximum reviews will be on the top as we'll be sorting them by descending order so let's execute this and we can see where the crowdads sing 
with author Delia Owens at the top having the reviews more than 87,000 and secondly we can see the girl on the train on the second rank having reviews around 80,000 actually I'm glad and had expected to see the girl on the train on the top as I had heard quite a good reviews about this fictional psychological and thriller novel but unfortunately never read though and maybe after this video would attempt to read it so guys if you have some good suggestions regarding some amazing books for me please do comment down now we will start our analysis by plotting a simple histogram of these two features which are user rating and price we will take our data frame df we'll mention user rating and price and we'll execute dot hist So we can see our both histograms has been plotted, and the user rating, the maximum user rating is ranging between 4.5 to around 4.8, while the maximum price is between say 10 to 20 dollars. Now once we are done plotting the histograms, let's analyze the data having user rating as only 4.9. So we'll create a separate data frame as a part of our data frame DF. So we'll be adding, we'll be passing user rating equal equal to 4.9. So all the data having user rating as 4.9 will be taken into our new data frame say X. Now we'll execute X dot head. And we can see all the data having user rating as 4.9 has been displayed here coming towards our second visualization we'll be grouping the name from our data frame x while taking the mean of our reviews and sorting the values as descending so whatever repeated entries of the names we have regarding a book names in our data frame x will be grouping them and taking the mean of the reviews and finally sorting the data in ascending order descending order we will plot the figure size as 10 by 10 and also we'll use cbond.set style to set the style as byte grid and finally we will be plotting a bar plot by passing the values of y values comma y index so let's execute this And we have a beautiful plot in which the books having rating as 4.9 with maximum reviews are placed on the top. We have the book Oh the Places You'll Go on the top written by children's author Dr. Seuss and seems like curated for little ones. I have never heard about this one but yeah the second rank Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets my personal favorite and I guess most of you guys would have already read this. I would personally go for this book instead of actual movie of Harry Potter and Chamber of Secrets. What do you guys think? Which one is the best, the movie or the book? Now we'll be plotting a scatter plot to display the relation between user ratings and reviews. For that purpose, we'll be using cborn.scatterplot. Firstly, we'll initialize the size of our figure, which will be 12 by 6, and we'll execute SNS, that is cborn.scatterplot. In X axis, we'll be passing our user rating and reviews in our Y axis. In data, we'll be passing our data frame, say DF. And in U, we'll be using Jenner. So let's execute this. So we can see that there is an outlier at rating 4.8, which has reviews more than 80,000. And also, there is an outlier at rating 4.1, having reviews around 80,000 and we can see at rating 4.9 the fictional books are populated more than non-fiction ones now we will also plot another scatter plot to display relation between user rating and price so the code format will be similar as before we'll be using 12 by 6 figure size and x-axis will be using user rating instead of reviews we'll be passing price in our y-axis data will be same our data frame df and hue will be jenner so let's execute this now in this 
we can see that maximum price is between 5 to 20 dollars we do have an outlier at rating 4.5 which is a non-fictional book having price more than 100 dollars also we have some fictional books having poor user rating and have price range between 10 to 20 dollars now coming towards the second set of amazing visualizations we'll be plotting a trend graph now we'll be seeing the trend of our reviews over the years so the figure size will be same which is 12 by 6 now we'll be using seaborn line plot in which we'll be passing year in our x-axis reviews in our y-axis and data will be our data frame df and hue will be our jenna so let's execute the plot so we can see that the reviews for non for fictional books was in boom from 2012 to around 2015 and there was drastic difference in 2017 while the reviews for non-fictional books were in linear fashion from 2010 to 2019 also the light orange and blue borders surrounding the trends are the upper and lower data points or limits for the respective genre now in similar fashion we'll be also seeing the trend of prices of fictional and non-fictional book with respect to year here we'll be replacing reviews in y-axis with prices and x-axis will be consisting of year data frame will be our data will be our data frame df and hue will be jenna and our figure size will be constant so let's execute this now here we can see on an average the price for both the categories have reduced from 15 dollars around 15 dollars to say 10 dollars also we can see some drastic change in prices for non-fictional books in 2014 where the prices had been around on an average 20 dollars and was reduced drastically in 2015 with the prices around 12 to 13 dollars now we will be making uh, analysis regarding the authors of the best selling books for that purpose we'll be taking our data frame df and grouping the data points by our feature author we'll be taking account of it and we'll be sorting those data points based on the feature name in the descending order and we'll save all this in our new data frame temp df1 so let's execute this now let's plot a visual to display the top 10 best selling authors for that purpose we'll be using plot ly graph objects that is go and since we need to plot a bar chart we'll be executing geo.bar now here in x-axis we'll be passing our author name from our data frame temp df1 and in y-axis we'll be passing name which we defined over here in our y-axis name now also we'll be mentioning a marker for our visualization we'll assign some color as cyan and also assign some line properties such as color and width now also we'll define some layout for our visual in which we'll be passing on the template title what would be the title of a visual we'll be assigning some factors for our x-axis and y-axis such as title name and tick angle as 45 and finally we'll show a figure and in this visual we can see the author Jeff Kinney has been appeared the most in our data frame followed with Gary Chapman and so on now let's have a look which author has maximum reviews so as we did before we'll be executing kind of similar code so here we'll be taking our reviews we'll be sorting that uh, in descending format we'll be taking mean of it and grouping the data based on the feature author and saving it in a separate data frame say df1 now here we'll be plotting a scatter plot in which we'll pass our df1 data frame in x-axis we'll be passing on the user ratings and in y-axis we'll be passing on reviews and in color that is hue we'll be passing our author and now we'll be updating the traces such as marker and line so for marker we'll be assigning the size and for line we'll be assigning width and the color 
and let's execute this. So in this plot, we can see that the author Delia Owens with a rating 4.8 has maximum reviews around 90,000, followed by an author Paul Hawkins having reviews around 80,000 and having a rating of 4.1 and so on. Now coming towards an interesting part of our video, we'll be plotting a word cloud for authors regarding both fictional as well as non-fictional books. So word cloud is basically a collection of cluster of words depicted in different sizes. So bigger and bolder the word appears, the more often it's mentioned in given data frame or the given text and more important it is. Now in below steps, what we'll do is we'll create two different separate data frames as fiction and non-fiction. So what we'll do is we'll execute df gener is equal equal to fiction. So the from our data frame df, whatever values are having gener as fiction will be stored in our new data frame fiction and similarly for non-fiction. So let's execute both of these. And we can see we have separate data frames. So in fiction, we have all the data whose gener is fiction. And for non-fiction data frame, we have all values where gener is non-fiction. Now, firstly, let's start importing word cloud from word cloud. And then what we'll do is we'll join each word from our author separated by space and save them in text. Later, we'll be assigning our figure size as 16 by 16. And now we'll be initializing our word cloud model as background color as black, color map as VLAC, width and height, and maximum words is will be assigning as 121. And finally, we'll execute dot generate text. So this will be generating our word cloud and we'll save that in a variable word cloud. Now finally, we'll be executing plt.iamshow word cloud and plt.show. So let's execute this. And as you can see, we have got our word cloud for best selling books of fiction genre. Actually, let's reduce the size a little bit for a better view. Okay. So we can see that our author Jeff Kinney being displayed bolder, which tells us that this set of words were most commonly appeared and probably have the most importance. We have Jeff Kinney followed by Ricky, Rick Jordan. Even Susan Collins over here has comparatively same importance as author Jeff Kinney as per the plot. Now coming towards the final plot of our video, we'll be plotting a word cloud for the data frame having Jenner as fiction will be non-fiction. We'll be copying the same code as before. Just the only difference will be replacing the data fiction to non-fiction. And let's execute this. Okay, so here we can see that author Gary Chapman having the most importance as per our word cloud, followed by American psychological and so on. Now, when you execute the word cloud, you can also reduce the max words limit as 40 to 50 so that the visual will be much more simpler to interpret and extract insights from. Well, this was all from my side and I hope this video helped you. You don't need to worry about the code because I'll be mentioning the GitHub code link in my description. And do like the video and share with your friends and colleagues. Do comment your views in comment section below. And if you are new to my channel, please do subscribe for more such informative and amazing videos served for you every week. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, take care and bye-bye.